forests help slow down global warming. Large quantities of carbon are stored in trees and plants, and this is essential for survival. After all, the more carbon that escapes into our atmosphere in the form of CO2, the faster Earth heats up. The result is a dramatic climate change that threatens the living conditions of billions of people, including us. Forests supply us with oxygen, regulate water cycles and protect our social and economic well-being. Protecting Earth's forests is therefore extremely important. Red Plus is an internationally recognised strategy embedded in the Paris Agreement on Climate Change supporting countries in the South to preserve their forests. Deforestation is usually driven by strong economic motives, with tropical forests in particular often being destroyed to make way for farmland. The main beneficiaries of palm oil and soy cultivation or large-scale livestock farming are the big investors. While local communities suffer from its adverse consequences in the long term, this is because the damage is almost irreparable. Once the forest has gone, it takes decades to restore even part of it. Hence, anyone keen to protect forests at global level needs to take these economic aspects into account. Conservation has to be worth it, and that is precisely where Red Plus comes in. Red stands for reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, which means reducing the CO2 emissions caused by the clearing and destructive exploitation of forests. Restoring forest landscapes and promoting sustainable forest management also have a role to play in sequestering CO2. That is what the PLUS stands for. Under the Red Plus scheme, tropical countries can receive financial rewards if they can demonstrate that they are protecting their forests better or utilising them more sustainably than before. When it comes to making these payouts, it is essential that the money also benefits local and indigenous communities, as this is the only way to attract interest in forest conservation at a local level too. Germany, Norway and the UK are involved in the GNU initiative which is committed to providing $5 billion in support of Red Plus between 2015 and 2020. Germany is also currently the largest donor to the World Bank's Forest Carbon Partnership Facility, FCPF, the world's most important funding instrument for implementing Red Plus. The future of generations to come all over the world depends crucially on the fate of our forests and the tropical ones in particular. That is why we need to protect them.